Alright, it's been a while since I did any type of uh, review. Today I'm going to review the Safe Life Defense uh, Molly Carrier that they have for sale. It's a $200 carrier, um, <clears throat> which is very affordable for a quality carrier considering uh, stuff that's out there. Um, this is, I'm going to give you my opinions on it uh, really quick. Molly front, laser cut top, comes with a police patch or whatever you want really on the rear. The strap is velcro to the back so it's not just flailing out there. Rear police patch, velcroed on. And then there's op there's an opening right here. And in the front as well, right here, that will fit full size rifle plates. Um, the vest carrier itself is very good quality. The shoulder straps are adjusted by this little uh, fold over method. Um, and there's a lot of padding so it distributes the weight nicely and evenly across your shoulders. It's a cummerbound system with Molly on the back. Uh, the cummerbound itself it velcros to the rear of the vest and velcros to the sides. Molly front, the stitching is very nice, very secured. There's, I haven't had any issues. I've had this carrier for about four months. I've used it late summer into early winter in Chicago. So it already went through all types of def, uh, temperature changes, all types of weather, rain, snow. Um, <clears throat> used the plain clothes as well as uniform. Um, radio, my setup currently is radio here, two uh, pistol mags, um, rifle mag pouch, uh, flashlight, handcuff, and what you don't see is North American Rescue uh, tourniquet right here. So. Review itself, uh, laser cut is really nice. I uh, use my unit designator and star. Um, you could do the police up front, whatever you want. Um, the vest itself, uh, the carrier is great. It's actually really nice quality. Haven't had a single issue when it comes to quality wise and uh, on the vest itself. Um, nice stitching, feels great. Um, the inside is really nice against the skin uh, or well, clothes. Um, it, it, it just it feels good um, it's just short of being a perfect vest though and here's why these straps are kind of annoying um, this catches my rifle string uh, rifle uh, sling every single time I take the rifle off every single time so I got to do this awkward maneuver to make sure that it doesn't catch it and um, a few times I had to remove the rifle under stress, it gets really annoying. Second thing is if you're wearing a t-shirt and uh, or anything without a collar, over the length of your shift, this gets really annoying. These little, uh, um, I guess, uh, the way it folds over, when this rubs against your skin for eight hours, um, you feel it at the end of the day and it sucks. Um, if there was a sleeve that kind of goes around it, it would be good or just a conventional padded shoulder system with regular adjusting would be fine. Um, the width of this does help, I'm not going to lie, but the design is um, faulty itself. If it folded inwards, I think it would help. If it didn't have this little uh, um, pile of material on the side, it would help in terms of comfort too. Um, but the way it is right now, it kind of gets annoying. It's not a deal breaker, but I would definitely go get it tailored. Um, I'm if I keep this carrier, I will get it tailored so it actually goes back to the conventional strap system instead of this. Uh, I do not like this personally. Second issue is, which is why I'm not wearing it anymore, <clears throat> Velcro on the side is already worn out. For four months of use, taking it on and off daily, sometimes a few times throughout the day, uh, the Velcro has failed. Um, it no longer supports the weight. It has given on me already once during the shift I have not gained weight um, and the velcro failed um, this can be fixed with a an adapter system uh, with either clips or tubes from outside sources those go anywhere between $90 to got $150 depending on who you go with either for a spear or whatever um, so that's that's easily overcome but you know, it kind of sucks that you have to resort to that. Second issue from Safe Light side is this. This is really thin, so it kind of twists and bends and uh, folds, and 
it, it, it's it's kind of I, I mean I get it you know the whole point behind it but um, it, it's it, there's no real support so it's it's really kind of annoying uh, when it comes to adjustment um, now if you are going to go with a velcro system what would help is having a larger velcro uh, pad on the side and a larger um, attachment point so that way it covers more surface area less chance of it wearing like this over time I mean velcro does fail it is what it is but <clears throat> the way the current setup is kind of sucks now all of this can be adjusted at a uniform store or throw aftermarket um, ways for a fairly cheap price but the way it is right now um, it falls short and it does need that so those are my opinions on it however this is really nice it's still a very nice vest I've compared it to tactical Taylor uh, it's it's very good constructed very happy with it. I just wish this and this wasn't an issue. All right, that's it. Hopefully it helps give you a closer look. Comments, questions, shoot them below.